Isotech Systems is a government contractor. We have a prime contract with the Department of Energy and the Environmental Management Division to uh, disposition uranium-233 that's stored at Oak Ridge National Lab. A couple of years ago, a, a private entity called TerraPower came forward and approached the Department of Energy to see if they could get thorium-229 extracted from the uranium-233 material prior to the ultimate disposal. It's important to extract thorium from our uranium-233 because thorium-229 only comes from uranium-233 and since by and large the world's supply of uranium-233 is stored here, once this material is dispositioned there will be no more thorium-229 available. We need to get it into a liquid form so we can strip out the thorium product as we transfer it through the resin columns. The thorium will adhere to the thorium column and then once that runs through both columns, we have a, a collection container at the back side of the process that will collect that material. Once we get the uranonitrate collected, the uranonitrate will be disposed of with the gravel later on in the process. But at this point, our, our next step is we want to recover the thorium that was uh, adhered to the resin. And we will actually flush the columns in a separate container. And basically what we're doing is we're, we're causing the thorium that's on the resin bag to be released and collected into a thorium product container. So we'll go ahead and dry that product. Uh, it's very difficult to ship liquid radioactive samples, so what we will do is we'll take the, the thorium product solution, evaporate it through a rotary wrapping glove box three, and then that material will be weighed and it will be bagged out and it will be prepped for shipment. Place item in the transfer sleeve. Place item in transfer sleeve. And as we go through the process, our dose through this system is changing. Radcon monitoring that. Once we get that uh, alarm on your personal EVD, that's just an indication for the worker they need to move to a low dose area. So they'll back away, RACON will do a verification of the dose in that area. Once we get the thorium product dried, the dump bottles with neural nitrate solution needs to be transferred using our, our liquid waste transfer line from box two over to a, a basically a radiological hood where the drums will be located. Those drums will be preloaded with a grout water solution. We'll add the urinal nitrate, then we'll mix that solution, and then we'll allow that solution to dry before it's um, removed from the hood or the ventilated enclosures where it'll be prepped for waste disposal. We've got a, a number of containers selected to be loaded on the truck today, and that's what we're preparing right now. We were loading a radioactive waste shipment uh, to transfer from this site to a disposal site. Since it's radioactive, one of the biggest challenges is, of course, is to determine the total Total activity that's involved with each package, uh, understanding the weight of the package. So, challenges to make sure we got the weight distributed on the truck properly. The biggest thing is we we have a we're really con constricted on space here, uh, so we, we we really don't have time to build up a lot of waste uh, within the confines of the facility. So we try to get the waste uh, out of here as quickly as possible. Space is a premium, so it's just really nice to get get everything cleared out. Later this year, we'll actually move the operation into hot cells where we can bring over higher dose material that needs remote access to process it safely and we'll be able to triple the amount of processing that we can currently do today. Being able to extract this radioisotope that can be used for nuclear medicine purposes and they get, they all, all the, the team we've been working with are all excited and enthused about that part of it so it just adds a little sort of special uh, challenge for us to get this material out so hopefully it can benefit others in the future. We at Isotech are really um, privileged to be able to work with a DOE customer who sees the value in saving something that you can't get someplace else as well as supporting you know, all the folks here on the Isotech project. It takes a huge team of people to, to make a project like this successful and I, I couldn't be more honored to be a part of the team.